Captain's Log, Stardate 2258.201. Our science team has discovered a connection between the anomalies we encountered in the Silva system. Each showed the presence of a highly unstable substance known as protomatter. Our continued exploration suggests the entire trench may be contaminated with concentrations of protomatter, but further research will have to wait. We've received a distress signal from an independent vessel and are now in pursuit of the ship to render aid. Rescue Polaris. Open hmm. channel. This is Anton Serco, acting captain of the Polaris. We're experiencing multiple system failures. Please keep your distance. We can't guarantee your safety. Entering the anomaly. All right, Polaris, we're coming for you. This current trajectory will take them directly through the asteroid field, Captain. Their chances of survival are effectively zero. If Don't tell me the odds. We may be able to disrupt their engines. I'll contact USS Raleigh and request support. I'm staying with them. You target locked. All right, get us over there, if you would, please. And then I will try to jump into... The engineer's boots. Let's see if we can get a system intrusion going. Uh, once we have... Uh, we need to scan first. Okay. Tactical? Uh, we're not in scanning range yet, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Alright. Hang in there, Polaris. We're going to get to you. Eventually. What's our speed? Did I not turn on the navigation thing? Do I have to turn this on every freaking time? Alright. Our speed is maximum. Full impulse. Heading of 030. It's good to know. I guess that would tell me the heading on here, huh? Alright, can we get to them in time? Their shields are at 37%. Their hull is at 64%. We're 30 kilometers away. Scanning target. Excellent. All right, while you're scanning, I'm going to take over here. You let me know when your scanning's done. At some point here. And any day now. Any day now. <laughs> that would be... That'd be fantastic. Let me know. Scan complete. Excellent. Let's disrupt their engines. I'm in. Target system disrupted. Captain, incoming message from the vessel. Please, we have to help. We're taking supplies to a research station in the Persef system. Something went wrong. Something happened to the star. We got hit by some kind of blast wave or something. And now we can't reach anyone at the station. You have to go back. You have to help them, please. Exiting anomaly. USS Raleigh is arriving. Ah, very good. Incoming message from the Raleigh, Captain. On screen. On screen. Aegis, this is USS Raleigh. We're on hand to assist the Polaris. Very good. The Raleigh is better equipped to help with repairs, Captain. I advise we check on that station. All right, warp to the Persef system is what we will do. Prepare for warp. Hi, Captain. Preparing for warp. Adjusting power. Warp course is set. Lining up for warp. Sorry, I just hit the mic. <laughs> I hit the mic Make trying to line. trying to scratch my nose. All right, engage. Uh, Okay, escape pods with survivors. I am not reading any life signs on the station, but I am picking up a few escape pods amongst the debris. All right, let's get over there. Locking on target. Captain, Initiate sensors scan. indicate the star is experiencing wide-scale coronal disintegration. If the core erupts, our ship will not be able to withstand the blast wave. They say no life signs on this. 
Oh, life, life found. Yeah, there's life on there. You tell, tell me no life signs found. It's six of them, too, so we should be able to get them in one beam out. Hopefully. If we hurry. If we hurry. Sometime today, engineering. Come on. Captain, we've reached our destination. Yes, thank you. I, I see that. We should deliver the survivors to the Raleigh. Their med bay is significantly larger. Understood. Changing targets. I'll contact them and ask them to put their medical staff on alert. All right, very good. I am detecting tachyon levels consistent with recent use of a cloaking device. We should be on our guard. No life signs there. Analyze the target. next one. Klingons are out here somewhere. No life signs. Alright. Analyze target. Captain, I'm getting a signal of unknown origin here. Federation vessel. Leave now or be destroyed. You have 30 seconds to comply. What are the Klingons doing in the trench? That's a good question. Would be an even better question is why are we banging into shit? <laughs> Anson? Alright. Well, we got Klingons here. So let's make sure we get We're alert. Alright, engage target. Yes, I know that there's escape pods we haven't yet searched. Give me a break here. We gotta, we gotta defend ourselves. Jesus, there's escape pods we haven't looked at yet. No shit. <laughs> I can see that very clearly on my screen here. All right. Environmental radiation levels are spiking. The star's core is going to erupt soon. Crap. Exiting the anomaly. All right. Let's get rid of this guy, and we gotta we gotta get some of these survivors, whoever we can, get out here. It's our hull doing. We're still good. Shields are good. How about we get some power to phasers? So get rid of these guys fast here. Helm, it would be really nice if you didn't bang into everything. Every goddamn thing. That'd be great. Be really spectacular. Okay, come on. Somebody somebody fire. <laughs> be really nice too. They're they're hitting us. It'd be nice if you shot back. Okay. Okay, good. Power to the engines. engines. Alright, let's get over to this guy and analyze the targets. Initiating scan. Any life signs over there? Come on. Come on. Give me something. You something to work on. Two pods remain. Okay, we got life signs over there. All right, let's transport from the target. Lowering shield. Establishing lock. Come on. Do it fast before we get we get a Klingon on our ass. That's that's the worst thing you could have is a Klingon on your ass. <laughs> it's like having a pimple on your ass. Only only worse. It's got ridges. It's like it's like ruffles. Okay, come on, come on, beam them off of there. God damn. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Get them off of there. Alright, raise shields. Uh, 
Where the hell is it at? Engage target. Give me something over here. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, I, I, there's a lot of Klingons here, so of course there's been cloaking device use. Damn it. Alright, could you get some repair systems going here? Repair phasers. God damn, more guys. Let's get them before they... Okay, how's our shields doing? Not good. Not good at all. Alright, what's our repair systems? Repaired shields. Thank you kindly. Uh, very good. That's uh, good to know. How about some other some other repairs, huh? Basically, we gotta get the hell out of here. Is what you're saying? Excellent. All right, let's get over here and analyze the target. All right, let's get the powered engines. Let's get over there fast. There is still one pod out there. out of the anomaly. All right, analyze. Moving into the anomaly. Did we analyze this one? No, we haven't analyzed this one yet. Did we analyze this other one? Oh, there's life on this one. Oh, crap. Um, hang on. We gotta go. We gotta go transport from this other target. Hurry up and get over there. Because we don't know if there's any, any life signs on that one, but we know that there's definitely ones over here. We need to get to them as soon as possible. Captain, it looks like matter from the star is causing temperature spikes in certain areas, severe enough to damage the ship. Those pods might not last long out there. We're showing on their sensors. Crap. Uh, is our shields... Hey, put our shields up. All right, we're gonna have to. Exiting anomaly. We're gonna have to take this guy on. Engage target. Power to shields. There we go. Let's get over to this thing here. Transport from target. Come on. Get out some repair systems. I have starting repairs to Let's get some power. Oh, are you kidding me? Again? There's another guy here. All right, do we have him almost? We have him almost. Come on. Come on. Give me something here. It's down a 10% hull. We just need to get over to these other people. At some point. Where was that other one at? That one. Okay. Let's get over there. Transport from target. Let's, uh... Let's get some powered engines. Full power to engines. Thank you. And then repair some stuff while you're at it. Damn it. We are taking some damage here. We need to get out of here. Exiting anomaly. Come on. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on, hurry up. Oh good, we got them. Okay, let's let's get out of here. 
Uh, raise the shields. All right, let's get out of this place. Uh, how do I get out of this place? Entering the anomaly. Warp to uh, extreme heat detected. Uh, what did we... Alright, this guy. Just kill this guy, please. He's being a pain in my... and pain in my butt. Well, we got a minute to get out of here. Alright, so we gotta get... How are we doing here? Exiting anomaly. I kept damage cruise to warp core. Damaged. Phasers have been damaged. Come on, give me a give me a give me something here. Phasers are fully operational. Where's our shields at? Come on, come on. Kill this guy, would you? Yes, Pair our shields too while you're at it. You're taking environmental hazard damage, that's what it is. Alright, we'll get the the shields up then. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Impulse. Warp. Is that what we gotta do? Gotta warp to tire system. Okay, let's prepare warp. Aye, aye, Captain. Preparing for sensors are showing waveforms consistent with recent cloning activity. Ten seconds. All right, let's get out of here as soon as we can. Do it. Warp coils ready, charged. We're aligned for warp. All right, get us out of here. Oof! I think that was longer than 10 seconds. <laughs> we did what we could. Got as many, as many of them as we could out of there. I would think. I mean, there might have been another one that we could have gotten. Escape Cellar Core. We recovered... Oh, we recovered 12 out of 24. Well, we got half of them. We got half of them. I mean, that's got to account for something. <laughs> Jesus. Especially when you got constantly getting targeted by Klingons as you're, as you're running around there. And for some reason, it just takes forever today just to get over to all the all the, uh, the pods and whatnot. It's just a bit of a, a bit of an issue. A bit of an issue. I feel like sometimes it's, you know, it's like, hey, keep the shields up. Like... When you go to say transport from target, right? It should be like keep the shields up until you actually get to the target and then lower the shields, you know what I mean? Like not do it right away. But I guess that's just the way they, they programmed it so that it would be that much harder, even though it really shouldn't be quite so hard. And this is that our oh yeah, Mark Lee Tyree. So okay, there's a big the big uh the big map on the board behind us. But uh yeah, that will do it. For this episode of Star Trek Bridge Crew. Oh, God. Um, I would like to play some of the uh, original Enterprise things, but they don't do... The campaign doesn't take place on the original Enterprise. It's only the generated missions. So I'd like to get through some of the... We'll, we'll get through the, the campaign first before I ever even touch the old Enterprise. Uh, but it's... Uh, I, I'm liking... I'm liking what I've seen so far. Very, very fun. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.